Hi and welcome to my second uh, tutorial for logic bots. In the last tutorial I showed you how to make, uh, how to complete the first level of the game uh, using no logic gates at all. In this tutorial I will teach you how to complete this map using the basically the same design as the in-game tutorial shows you. Um, so if you haven't done that already, save your bot by clicking the button and just name it to whatever you want and save it. I recommend you you save it um, with a name so you can easily find it for each and every one of the map. It can get quite confusing if you have a lot of bots named to all fancy things. Um, Alright, this is the one we built in the last tutorial. It has no gates or anything at all, only two sensors and two wires. So for this tutorial we need to change the design a bit on the, the bot. So I'm just gonna move these away so I can get some free space to work with. Um, what I want to do now is place a box section um, at the front of the bot. And we'll need to change the rotation as well. Alright, something like that. And then I'll move the sensors right back down. Oh, you need to make sure that the sensor sensor is actually pointing the, the right direction. And uh, the sensors should be on on each side of the black line. If you don't get it right the first time, I guess you have to do some adjusting. Um, the next thing we need to do uh, is to go to the circuit board and um, place a few logic gates. I'm just going to put this out on the on the circuit board for now and I'll explain later on exactly what they do. You will need to start with two signal splitters and you will need a third over there. Um, we're going to start by constructing the, the um, circuit that makes the, uh, the bot turn. For that we need uh, two inverters, two NOT gates. Uh, these gates, uh, gates output the opposite uh, of signal that they receive. So if they receive a high signal here, that is if the uh, line sensor detects the line, they're going to output a low signal. signal. They will make the um, turn off the engine and make the robot turn. And that is what we want to achieve. Um, we need to place two OR gates at the, the right end of it and one AND gate over here. I'm going to explain um, what all these things do while connecting them. So first this is the left line sensor and this is the left motor. What we need to do is to connect the first steering circuit, I would call it, the one that makes it turn. Um, like that. And what that basically does is that um, as long as the line sensor, remember, the, the line sensors are outside of the black line now, they don't see it, they will output a, a low signal. But as soon as the line sensor spots the, um, the black line, the inverter here 
will turn the motor off while the other uh, motor is still running which will make the the logic bot turn and we will do the same thing for the steering circuit for the right motor like that okay um, let's take a look at it So what happens there is that you see the the uh, the bot starts on a black surface, which means that both the uh, the motors will be turned off thanks to the uh, the inverter, the not gate. So we need to con connect the middle section. This is um, an um, AND gate. If you look at the truth table, it will only output a high signal when both inputs are high. Which means that when both of the line sensors see the, the, the black area beneath, um, it will make the, the bot go forward. And this is, um, you need these to get off the, the the black area like that and as soon as it gets out of the black area the uh, the outer parts of the the um, circuit board the one we wired up first will kick in the the bot will now uh, complete the map but instead of just forcing you guys to watch this. I'm gonna um, show you how to put some uh, LEDs on so you can see what's actually going on in there. This is all you need to do to finish the level and this is the I think it's the same as the in-game tutorial. Okay so let's put some LEDs on it. Go to debugging parts and you can pick whatever LEDs you like. It's like an insect. And again, I will um, I will rename these to left and right. It's easier to keep track of them inside the circuit board editor. If you just place them there, they're not going to do anything. You need to wire them up. So let's do this for the this for the right side, and this is for the left side. Oh crap! I'm gonna put it down here as well. Okay, so where do we connect these? Yeah, I think you got it figured out already. Um, we need to attach additional signals signal splitters. I guess this is not the 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 um, nicest way to do it, but it's at least it works. Uh, yeah, you can you can right click um, if you want to make a um, a cable if you like want to draw whatever path for it you want, and that's all you need to do. Let's check it out. What happens now is that when the line sensor detects the black line, it will lit the LED as well, giving a visual indication of what's going on in there. It's not necessary to com for completing the map, but it's a good way of like for yourself of debugging and see see what if things are if the thing is triggering like like you want. All right, 
that was it for the second tutorial and uh, this is still the first level but uh, just an alternate way of uh, completing the map. I suggest you learn this way because it will help you through the following three or so levels. Alright, see you in the next tutorial.